The Red Sox today signed Cuban outfielder Ruzny Castillo to a seven-year, $72.5 million deal that starts immediately. He could join the Red Sox this season, although he is going to probably need some time working out somewhere, whether it's in the minor leagues or with the Red Sox, because he hasn't played for about a year and a half since defecting from Cuba. Castillo represents for the Red Sox a chance to dip into the Cuban market in a big way for the first time. The Red Sox were bidders for Jose Abreu, the White Sox slugger last season, but fell short and were never really interested in Joanna Cespedes or Yasiel Puig when they became available. But the Red Sox see Castillo as a player with speed, a little bit of power who could perhaps become a leadoff hitter, gives them a little more of a dynamic outfield next season. It, with, the, with the addition of Cespedes by trade and some of their other players, the Red Sox will remake an outfield. That's been one of the worst in baseball this season with very little production, very little power. The question now for the Red Sox will be what will they do with their outfield depth? They have a number of players now available that they could use as trade bait, be it Mookie Betts, Jackie Bradley Jr. And they'll be able to address some of their needs in the offseason with trades. They need some starting pitchers. They could use some other power perhaps in the infield at, for, at third base. But the, with Castillo, the Red Sox have made a move for next season, kind of reminiscent of what they did at the trade deadline by making some of those moves, bringing in Craig and Cespedes. And now Ben Sherrington will have to address his rotation and get some more players there to add to what the Red Sox have in terms of their young pitchers.